Am I working now? Yes, I am. That's brilliant. I am talking. Um, yeah, um, it's uh, how how are we all doing? Any? I have not done a stream in ages. Um, good lord, this feels really unnatural. Plus, the way I've had this whole thing set up, I have actually got my monitor on my TV over there, so that the uh, the game can be on the actual monitor. Because otherwise, it's going to be me doing this. And you really don't want to just sit here and see my side profile. Excuse me one second, whilst I, um, where am I? Not that. Which one am I? That's me. There we go. I also need to get chat working, I'm aware of that. Um, just give me a few moments of your time. Big sigh. <laughs> oh, where, where the fuck's the browser gone? There we go. I found you now. Right. Am I going to have to double click you to get to properties? Yes, I am. Okie dokie. Fucking love hearts. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh, there we go. You're going to be seeing a bit more of my side profile for a bit. You're going to have to just forgive me for that. And now the sun's glaring in me. <laughs> Fuck off, I can't do anything. I don't want UV rays. I also don't want to die. Hang on. There we go. Just play the video game now. Get it out of the way before they get too late. Too bad at video games for that. Um, I'm surprised you're not playing Demon Souls on PS5. Do you really think I own a PS5? Do you? <laughs> I'm not gonna buy a fucking PS5 for one game. I don't know, I feel like once you reach the age of um, 25, you stop buying new consoles. I've seen many PS5s in stores. Hang on, what's this? Oh, this was in response to the Dominus Ignis, born 1997, to parents... Agatha and Bale the Third. Oh, 
Can we hear the shit cutscene? Can we hear it? It's law. and slightly green is just the mid to late 2000s colour palette though. It's like the, the moment we left that era, you just never saw them together again. Yeah, skeletons in the actual game are fucking shite, aren't they? It's like, you just give them a little smack and they go, oh. I don't I do not dabble in audio ducking because that is difficult. I've turned it down a bit now. Can you hear me? And can you still hear the music most importantly? <laughs> I've got the brilliant character creation now. What's your best pickup line? Don't rely on pickup lines and instead rely on genuine connections you make with people that blossom into things better than that. No, don't use that on anyone. I don't know, pickup lines are just a bit of a noncy thing to be. I don't know, I don't know what out them, but just it's a bit weird. Um, we're going to go with currently yet to be decided John I didn't need to do that <laughs> no <laughs> please give me a break PS PS3 keyboard <laughs> Um, what's your best pickup line? Pick up that thing there, son. <laughs> what is that key? It's fucking shite, isn't it? It's stinky and old. Best pick. Oh god, I'm so lonely. I'm gonna die alone. All right, have we got any names for this, John? Oh, I'm. I am calling on the chat to not do that thing where they just go silent and go, Oh, I don't know, I'll let you just know you your your name in your name in the character now. I can't I've run out of John's. John Souls. John Souls. John Demon. 
John Keith. Now it's up for the community to decide. You've got five minutes. a horrible keyboard. It's like an old cell phone. It's like a cellular device. <laughs> Why is John John winning? <laughs> guess we've all had our time it's that's that that's the winning option everyone if you didn't vote you didn't vote but i assume we all did um i guess it i guess if this is demon souls this will be the this will be where john like the caveman john would have formed but this is where it begins This is the amoeba. The <laughs> monkulus. Oh no. <laughs> Why are the eyes so fishy? Yeah, they've never seen one in their lives, apart from in book. Fucking hell. The state of that, man. <laughs> I'm from the future. I think I went for this for uh, John Ragnar, but I don't know, I'm not feeling quite as... I bet this is the easiest haircut to add in the world. It's just. God, 
That's made him look well angry, that has. It's not a haircut, it's just a light dusting of cocoa powder. I think that's all I need to do. I just need him to look angry and bewildered all at the same time. It's kind of out. I don't know. I feel like this quite. A... Oh no. No. I'm not. I'm not doing that to myself. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. He looks like a bloke. And that's all that John John needs to look like. Oh, hang on, I'm forgetting about a million different things, aren't I? Um, right, what class... What about you? What kind of class are you going to be? This actually may be my favourite piece of music ever made. I think I, li I think I literally listen to this every day of my life. Club, club, club. Hmm. I can't put everything to a poll. I'll just go by um, what my eyes are telling me. So we've got we've got Hunter, which is nothing to do with Bloodborne. We've got Priest, which makes me look like a condom. Um, we've got Magician, which makes me look like Robin Hood from a 70s BBC show. <laughs> um, I can't even make a, a look, Merlin 2000s extra, uh, Caveman. completely cover the character yeah it's like you get a little glimpse so um what are we feeling then I know Steven's up for club but uh what's the uh the populace feeling Also, I haven't actually asked, but how is everyone doing? I haven't streamed for a while, and I have been on, I have been on Steven streams, but I obviously haven't done one of these since um, getting battered as the juggernaut. And I felt like that was, if I was going to have a break from streaming at any point, condom. Um, was it royalty? Hang on. Oh my god, there's more fucking classes. I didn't realise. Okay. This thief. Uh, if you've ever been to Comic Con, you've probably seen this bloke before. Temple Knight. Um, Game of Thrones. I don't know. Some I've never watched Game of Thrones in my life because I'm not. I remain silent. Um, Do you know what? We're going to go Condom, man. I think it's got quite a fun look to it. <laughs> Kenra Land the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of... I didn't know there was another cutscene until the colourless deep fog swept across the land. 
Boletaria was cut off from the outside world. Cut it off. And those who Shop dared it penetrate off. the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one. Aroused. The great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the same, and chaos reigns. I haven't seen any enemy that big yet, and Malifax it really bothers spoke me. Of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Neil, I'm not buying a PS5 for one game. Twin fangs. Yurt, the silent chief. Gant, the cold one. Sage Urbane. Skurber, the wanderer. The sixth saint, Astraea and her knight, Garo Vinland. And Sage Frake, the visionary. Gant, the cold one. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. Released almost 20 years ago. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons I'm found a lion slave? Bar. Make it a boost. Turn the game down a little bit more. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. I, I am going to turn it down on my monitor because that is way too ear piercingly loud. So many classes in this game start out over encumbered. Like, when am I ever going to want to move like that? Oh my word, I've got healing magic. Oh, looks like I've made it despite your scheduling. I even made this thumbnail in your honour. Press the X button, pal. 
No. Oh, you're at the tutorial enemy. Don't do that to me. Oh, I know. Right, something's got to fucking give here. What what article of clothing is going away? You are joking me. Is it this? But now I'm just basically a barbarian with a condom on his head. PS3. This is PS3. You were right with two generations old. So basically, I'm now playing as a barbarian with shitter health and an arguably shitter weapon. <laughs> I know there's more of the magic weed somewhere. Is it your favourite game? It might be. It won't look like it initially, but um, that's just that's just because I'm really really scared of looking bad at video games in front of all those people, all those. Hang on, nine people? That's concerning. I was about to say six people, but that... Oof. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Can about three people uh, leave the stream? <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually, if you don't want... It's just, it's just weird seeing all messages and then nine... Dragon Crisis 3 is the best Souls game. I just saw a, f a guy run by. I'm on a private server. Or, like, it's in the sense of, like, it's privately hosted. Anyone can join it. It's called, um, it's called The Archstones. I think you saw it briefly when I, um, loaded into the game. That's not how parrying works. There we go, that's how parrying works. Like, I don't know, it's like when people said, oh, you should have a death counter for Souls 2. It's like, no, I, I don't want to do a Stephen and punish myself for playing the game. The game punishes you enough already. Because this game arguably has one of the worst features of any Souls game. Um, it's called World Tendency. Basically, if you die in human form in any active world it reduces the tendency of it. Meaning that, like, the enemies get a little bit harder. And if you keep dying in human form in a world, it will reduce it all the way down to pure black world tendency. And then the enemies are awful, but there is a few, like, rare items that are stuck in black world tendency. Cameron, I have told you to stop being... We're, we're in a new leaf now. We're not in the old world anymore. We're in the new one where Stephen is equal. 
We've got we've got to start treat we've got to start treating him with kindness. I can't love you until you learn to love Steven. My mum says you can't come round mine no more. <laughs> Meanwhile, while not in human form, your health is halved. Exactly. Until you find a ring, which we are going to find as soon as humanly possible. Because playing this game without the cling ring is... You might as well not play the game. Especially on... I don't know if you knew this, Stephen, but you do now. On pure black world tendency, your health gets reduced even more, to the point where the cling ring brings you back up to half health. So is that implying it would only be at 25%?
<laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my word. Four hundred fucking that was not enough. That was not enough for that. You can't die to him, otherwise you can't come back to him. Fucking hell. story told with no word. <laughs> Alright, just come give it to me. I know you want to. The Great Depression of Souls games. <laughs> I've already, I'm sorry if I've already read that. That's just fucking caught me now. Get back up, you weak slug. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. I wish my character came back with just a load of fucking imprints from getting punched. <laughs> gets his gets his this fucking fist tattoo nexus. imprinted on his chest. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect thee to the Nexus. <laughs> if he needs to look any worse. Oh, that's brilliant news. It means the world tendency can't be affected. Uh, Stephen, do me a favour, fella. What does the Grey Demon Soul do? Is it used for some sort of special weapon? I know I sound like someone's dad trying to find out what the TV remote does. But, um... Yep. Now that we're in soul form, half the HP. But as an on the bright side, it didn't take away the souls we earned in the fight. Which I'm quite happy about. 
and by the way, that was actually my first time beating that boss because you're you are literally meant to die to that boss fight, the uh, the vanguard. Those are acts that requires thirty strength. I shall keep that in the mind. But first, I've got a few. Uh, right, let's have a look at my uh, my inventory. Right. Hang on. Right. Now, I need this stream. I need you all to promise me something. I need you to promise that you're not going to tell John Sony what I'm about to do. Cause it's, it's, it's a bit naughty. I'm going to be honest. First, let me introduce myself to him. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My <laughs> wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. When I, when I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. Yep, so what do you to you? Hmm. You're new here? You're here for my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. <laughs> In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. I've literally just he's got here. I've seen one left in a town of soul starved me. If you do meet him, yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old near the well will just ignore you. Day. I can tell you're not gonna last long here. What? What? Yeah, what? It's simple. In trade with your soul. Hang on. It's simple. In you meant, trade to, you meant to be all grumpy that I've walked away. What are you doing? Please still work. I would be happy to lighten your load. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck. There we go. Don't tell John Sony. I'll get in a lot of trouble. And now, I've got 99 healing items with 100 more well on the way. <laughs> Because I'll tell you what, I'm not going to rely on this fucking healing. Sp I'll give it a go just for the sake of seeing what it's like. Actually, I haven't spoke to you yet, have I? What have you got to say? Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? 
<laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntary. Let the cat out. Uh, who am I? There I am. He doesn't know what he wants to do. I tried to let him out and now he's just coming here and he's lingering. He's been in here all day. Don't you want to go out? I know it means he he loves me, but it's like I've been doing nothing interesting. I've just been either sat here watching. I don't know. I don't know why I've decided to um, watch more Superman the animated series, but I've just decided that's what I feel like watching. Because I don't. I've watched Justice League, the TV show, not the fucking film. A lot of times, so I, I didn't want to. I didn't really fancy watching that, and I'm not watching Dragon Ball, and I don't want to watch anything Star Wars because I'm watching the current Star Wars. Oh my God, you've got on the desk, haven't you? We watched John Brand. Yeah, we watched Marlon Brando as a slug, didn't we? Doing a big poo on the floor. Stan, I, I really do like you, mate, but can you please sit down? Like, you can stay on here as long as you want, but I would, I need you to sit your sweet little ass down so I can concentrate. Thank you. Please. I literally gave you a bit of chicken today. Please. Like saying that I'd rather you do it for a game like this than a game like uh, Doom Eternal. Like that was probably your worst. Right, I'll move the phone over here. There you go. It's out of sight and out of bloody mind. Thank you. I want chicken. I gave him some roast chicken. So, ha yeah, you look happy to me. Hang on. Fuck it, I'll just shoot. For some reason, I ke I've kept thinking every time I play this that this is a cow. It's definitely a horse. But it has a cow-like quality to it. Uh, we, we don't. We didn't give him loads of it. I just gave him a little bit of chicken because it was left over alongside his cat food. Oh, 
I'm, I was meant to test out the bloody spell. Right. Knacker me a second, will you? Thank you. Oh, not that badly. Right. Oh, that's actually... That's actually alright. I don't know if you can tell, but I absolutely love the uh, the death sounds that just sound like a man with sleep apnea. Just the one that goes, oh. Stop doing it. At least you don't go, oh. It is, it's like the fucking snoring beam. Right. I know what you want. Um. Give you a go. I love it when I, I do, Reg. I love it when you do the sleep at the noise. Oh. Against my better judgment, like, every time I've beaten Phalanx, I've usually done it with, um, with humanity, mistakenly, so now I'm going to have to get used to beating him with even less health, because here's the fun thing about this game, as far as I know, and I could be dead wrong, you either have to beat Phalanx, the first, technically the first boss of the game, like, the first boss is Vanguard, but... Drink water. Uh, the first boss is Vanguard, but you're meant to die to him, you know, the big fat demon. Like, he is by far so much harder than the Asylum Demon is. I'm sure he doesn't look it. I understand from watching this stream that he didn't look very difficult. Trust me, he actually kind of is. He's got some really wonky hitboxes. Might call you and sleep at near everywhere. Oh. oh, no, no, no. Have you decided you want to get up now? Hang on. Right, keep... Okay, you've sat on the chockey. Are you going to warm it up with your big belly? Right, please give me the chockey, Stan. Thank you. I 
I don't even know what item I've picked up because you have big heads in the way. So I've picked up <laughs> I've picked up something. Oh fucking hell. Picked up another thing. Yay, there we go. A sword that only right bastards can use. I'll be honest, I actually thought I was going to die there. I actually thought like that fall was going to be just a little bit too high, but no, apparently, apparently not. Right, uh, what way am I going? What way am I actually bloody going? I don't know how I've managed to forget where I am in this game. I'm hoping this is the sigil ring one. What did you do wrong? Oh, he got flamed. Okay. Don't you love it when you make fun of other people and then you nearly fucking go out the same way? And then you basically go out the same way as them. <laughs> fucking hell. Are you getting bothered by the sleep at me and all these? Because you just you just gave me a very stinky face for that. There we go. We've now got the can actually play the game ring. Because I'm I'm telling you now, do not fucking play this game without the cling ring. It really isn't worth it. Like, I don't know if Steven agrees with me. I don't know if Steven thinks that maybe there would be, like, a point where, um... Like, you may be able to out-level out it with vitality or anything like that. But for me, I would... This ring stays on. It, it doesn't go anywhere. I need that dopamine, so it's the only thing that works for me. Yeah, you don't need it when you're human. And that's basically it. I believe 
once you have beaten Phalanx, I believe the other worlds open up as well. So once that does happen, we are going to be hopping around a little bit to get some good gear. But then, you know, it should it should simmer down after that because there is a weapon in this game very early on that is so stupidly good that you'd actually be a fool to not get it. Um, you'll hopefully see later. It's, it's a sword that basically means you pick it up and then the game goes, okay, you can now beat the fire area. How do we feel about generic looking shields? Like, do you prefer a shield that's like a circle? Do you prefer generic Gryffindor wins the house cup shield? Well, I don't know. If you had to have a shield, which one would you have? I made that look very easy, but if he even hit me once, I'd be dead. Tower shield. Round shield, kite shield. What, what, so what's, is this a kite shield? What's this? I assume so, based on process of elimination. Because sometimes they draw Captain America as having a shield like this. And that just looks bloody weird to me. That's a kite. Yes. Okay. I like the triangle shape as you can cut people's head. I'll cut your bloody head off. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the, the video game. I'll deal with you later. Right, we're going to have to have our wits about us in this area. Because it's, it's my least favourite enemy type in the game. Spearmen. Stolen, but who's telling you? <laughs> Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. <laughs> and those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does he have to sound like this? There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of Great Boletaria, but hell! Average green at smackhead. He's another one who's money probably. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. 
It is the end of Great Bullet. But hell, at least the demons don't it's send the us end to of our great deaths bullets. in battle. <laughs> I'll take a few extra. Do you know what? I'll take that off your hands. I could use that for later. Thanks for that. Come. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the way it, it, it sounded like he went, thanks for that. Come. <laughs> Fucking love this fucking character. Why does he have to sound like this? It's the end of Great Volatile as we know it. It's your laptop, pal. Oh. Oh. Thanks for that. Making me laugh so much. <laughs> Thanks for that. God. I think it's almost the sort of YouTube poop way it came out. It's perfect. Thanks for that. God. Fucking love him. I honestly I think he is I think he might be my favourite NPC in this game. I'm trying to be so fucking careful with this. There. Go! Is he another one for why can't I play as him all the He is. He absolutely is. But the thing is, he's luckily close enough to a human that if I really wanted to make him in another game, I could. You kind of just make patches if he's been left in the fridge for a year or two. Oh, I did odor. I just didn't. I um. I just didn't have time to really reply to it because um, having to take care of someone's cats at the moment. Not you. You can take care of yourself, and I already take care of you. Um. So I've been a little bit sort of pulled around everywhere today, but I have seen it, and I do like the big, uh, the big friend. I do quite like him. Yeah, if you ever see a packed fridge, don't assume the person's rich. Assume they haven't gone into their fridge for a while. Don't immediately go, oh, there's loads of shit in there. Stick your nose in there. 
you, you, um, have, get a little get a little closer and see what you can um, and see what you can discover. It could be anything in there. What is the fucking point of that? If it's just gonna get me bollocked anyway. Great bollock terrier. I'll send him. Really? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't even know you'd fucking sensing that. I don't know. It's like when I or the, the biggest thing I've ever ordered is a PS5, uh, not five, three. Just gonna say, what, what do you think I am? A millionaire? Yes, I'm... what? Someone put the sign right next to the fucking lever. Piss off. Trying to get me killed. Yeah, it is the do but monster, isn't it? Are we enjoying this stream so far? I know it's been very... It must be very weird because I haven't streamed... I'm fucking... I'm loving it. I, I, that, the fucking... The, the little limmy... Hello, man, has cheered me right up. Hello. Oh, no. It's a me. Oh, no. Charles... Fucking... It's been so long. Charles Martinet was still Mario when I last streamed. Hello! Oh no! <laughs> it's a parasocial relationship that's mutually beneficial. He's fallen asleep again. You cheeky cunt, of course you wake up the moment I point the camera at you. Yep, still looking normal now. Nice speakers. They're good speakers, the Amazon ones. They're actually not that... They're actually alright. I bet they're a right minger. Alright, let's... Hello! 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 Oh. Hang on a second, there's one other thing I'm gonna... Where are you? I know you're it. I've only got one of these, so I'm gonna make it bloody count. So I was expecting old Hello! To... No, we're gonna do it at one. We're gonna do it at one. We're gonna suffer. That's <laughs> new stream alert. Hello, hello! <laughs> Bro, 
Why what fucking hell? Terry Funk was as well. I just, I don't know what it is. I know this sounds really weird and it's the kind of detail no one else is going to care about apart from me. But I kind of liked that my last stream before I took a break was me getting battered as Juggernaut. I don't know, it kind of felt, I don't know, a bit, um, there was a bit of a storytelling element to it that kind of, I don't know, me being shit at a game, the last thing is me getting, is Juggernaut getting battered by, um, I don't know which one of the X-Men it was. The one that's not Rouge the Bat. Rogue, there we go. We got there in the end. Give me a big clap. It's the Rocky comeback narrative. <laughs> exactly. Plus as well, it meant that doing that one X-Men stream meant I could have it as a... Um, as a frog screen, which I'm quite happy about. The clap. I wasn't hissing at you, I was nasaling. Oh, fuck me, that frame rate. This is a boss you beat with fireballs, isn't it really interesting? <laughs> I did actually discover some phalanx lore, by the way, but I'll, um... I shall endeavour to explain it later when I'm a member of the, um... Jeff Jarrett Cash for Gold scheme. Who enjoyed the new starting soon frog screen? They're regularly scheduled shits. Oh my pal, if I don't have a bowel movement at 640, I'm gonna fucking shoot my wife. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is a very American sounding thing, like scheduled bowel movements. Well, I don't know, is that, is that when the, your job at the Daily Bugle re requires that if you don't poo at the right time, Jameson's going to whip you and turn you into the scorpion? You <laughs> see so laughing, but on schedule. <laughs> I love this screen. It's just the two old kids. Like, I'll bat you, son. What do you think you're going to do? I can't fucking, I'll fucking tell you that, son. Welcome Am I wearing booty shorts? The monumental awaits the above. Honey, schedule my dump for Tuesday. For Tuesday, pal. <laughs> I need that schedule, son. <laughs> My pool's the only thing that works for me. It's a regular retirement home interaction. Right. Hello, mate. Still alive? I am impressed. Thank you. This is something that might interest us. The black robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type. Morose. With eyes occluded by wax. 
She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she would embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware. Do not devolve into a foul beast. <laughs> you ate my pudding, fuck you, Ed. You asshole. Right, before I... Okay. I'm going to do something that's going to look absolutely fucking deluded in a bit. The monumental... The monumental will explain... Oh, fuck it out. Right, time to go speak to an NPC that we are literally never going to speak to again, as far as I know. I haven't got to another point in the game. This is a half-blind playthrough, because I figured it worked best for Fallout 2. So it will work the best for, for this as well. Like, I know what I'm doing and what I need to do. I don't know how to get there. And I think that makes, makes it a bit exciting. A blind girl, best girl. Um, it's definitely between... Um, it's definitely between her and... Hello! Hello! No, I know for a fact that's not what you fucking go to. Right, please sit your ass down. I, I actually... I can't... <laughs> Out of the fucking way, I can't see! There we go. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. What did I miss? We preserve the fabric. We killed the big squishy monster. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the sole art. Um, how do you write Until the, um... A lust for power the Dark Souls 1 maiden. The awakening of the old there is technically one. Across the land seeped a colourless the fire link fog. one. And the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss also known of as getting your cat to sleep. And half the world. We were able to lull the old one back to slumber. By the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders. You underestimate Stephen's power. Obstruents. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One A to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giant of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We entrusted them to six people, and to our surprise, they fucked up the every off. single one of them. Finally, because that's just how these fucking games go, isn't it? Half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. 